I believe that men's important. All men are warriors, which meant they have to catch slaves and work the farms and do the buildings and all the work. So they're all military until they reach a certain age. So these are Neas. And you see this bamboo? You will never see a Neas man without this bamboo ball. Because they, they are, the Indonesians, pre-Hinduism, were ancestor worshippers. Some say they're animists, but basically they were like the Chinese. They, more, they worship their ancestors yeah, more than gods. The God, ancestors are in between humans and gods. And so they believe everybody has a spirit, and the spirit stays on earth. And the people you kill, you need these protective amulets to protect you from their spirit. So these balls are full of amulets that protect amulets, little magical things that protect them from the spirits of the people. 13 pests that can destroy your rice. For example, elephant, boar, uh, some insects, rats. And so they, when after they planted their field, they have certain dancers will wear these masks. And among all the dancers, all 13 of the creatures will be represented. Like I say, some will have, that's a boar and an elephant. So they can represent more than one. And they will hide. And then they will all pop out and then the villagers have to kill all the pests. They have to kill the rats and the, the boars and the elephants and everything that can hurt you. And so they kill it and that protects the rice fields. Is, have you heard of batik? Batik is where you take wax to stop the ink from reaching certain parts. You make Prada the same way, but instead of wax, you use glue. So you make your design with glue, and then you sprinkle gold powder or gold leaf on it. You shake it, and the gold stays where you have glue. Like that, it can't be washed. So you get these beautiful work. Prada. Prada. No relationship to the <laughs> European. That's But you remember that. I agree. But what do you have to do? What do you have to do? What do you have to do? What do It's very fine work with the kids in you know, clay. Because of the volcanoes and the organics, our clay is always being messed up. So every Porcelain you see here is imported. Indonesia was very rich, and so we were able to buy porcelains. Indonesia has the second largest collection of porcelains in the world. Uh, the largest is in the Topeka Palace in uh, Istanbul. Sorry, China, you don't, you, China, it's every day, we just throw it away. Yeah, it's nothing special. Oh, okay. <laughs> but here, it was a family heirloom, it was kept even the most simple bowl. You know, this came from China, yeah. So, we have more. Uh, this is just a fraction of what we have. Uh, it is a dugout. So it's made from one tree. And you know this is a war canoe because it has no seats. So if it's a fishing boat or for transportation, there would be seats. But this is a war canoe, no seats because you stand. Now, can you imagine up to 20 men standing, pouring in the ancestors are worshippers. So they believe your ancestors are always around. And these are the heads of their ancestors. And they believe that you can ask an ancestor a question. So, if I'm going to go to war, I will ask my ancestor, a, will we be successful? In fact, you can ask an ancestor any question that can be answered by yes, yes or no. And they answer. So, if you ask the question, 
the kolar will answer. And the way they answer is if everything is okay, the kolar will do nothing. Everything's great, no worries, no problems. But if the answer is no, the kolar will shake or the person asking the question will shake. That means don't do it. Now, you can imagine they get a lot more yes answers than no answers. And if the ancestor gives too many wrong answers, they'll break it and find another ancestor that gives, <laughs> is more helpful. Because ancestors can be, don't, aren't always good. They can have bad ancestors. They may not, yeah. they may not like you. Yeah, uh, not pleased. Huh? Not pleased. Pleased. I mean, I mean they're not pleased. They're, yeah. they're, they're not happy with their They're not happy answer. with their kids. And if they're not happy, they'll destroy it and say, we've got to find somebody who gives better answers. Indonesians, even though they may be Muslim, they still pretty much believe to some degree in their ancestors. For example, he's sitting on a modern European chair, so it's not that old.